I can't fuck with snakes. I ain't all the way back from my people. I pray I was I ain't. for fame. I'm finna turn up and get they ass a taste. I thought taste. I was global. They screaming my name. I'm everywhere like I'm the Chicago way. Way. All right. Let us know who we have on the Chicago way today. It's your girl Blue. Mm -hmm. How y'all coming? The fuck is up? All right. How you feeling, Blue? I'm feeling good. Hmm. Cool. Cool. Mm hmm Anyway, life's great. <laughs> you know, type shit. Yeah. But yeah, though, uh, you will. This interview, I wouldn't want to say long expected, but this is definitely expected, considering how we talk from time to time. And sure. I'm glad to finally meet you and be able to get this interview with you. Me and too. this ain't your first interview, right? Nah, this is like my third interview. Oh. One of them never got here, but so yeah, it really like my second one. Oh. Yeah. Well, so this is your second interview in a way. For sure. All right. Well, you could have been on any other platform, but you chose to be a part of the wave. So here you go. I appreciate you for allowing me to have the time to pull up on you. For sure. For sure. <laughs> All right. Now, first order of business. Your name is Blue. That's blue with three E's. I was just about to say, let people know how to spell it. E's. B L U three E's. All right, all right, man. And then I say that because like sometimes people don't know how to spell names. You want to put a little, put your own sauce on it. Yeah, but now, sure. uh, is blue your favorite color? Yes, blue my favorite color. It's my very small color, and I just love me some blue. Period. It's really different. You love some blue. Yes. Mm-hmm. Surprise, you ain't crip, but <laughs> <Stop it. laughs> I had to do all that. All right, Blue. Now, it's pretty clear you're from Chicago. Yeah. But where are you from in Chicago? I'm from 59th and King Drive. Um, that's where I'm from, low end. Mm. You know? 59th King Drive slash the low end. Yeah. All right, all right. So, two places you're from. All right, bet. Which one did you spend most of your time in? Um, I mean, 59th is still really the low end, too. So. Is that so? Shit, I spent a lot of time where I'm from though, 59th King Drive. No. The bricks, 600, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, 600, just to be as that. Okay, okay. Yeah. Very, very known topic, very known area as far as Chicago to the internet. Yeah. But sure. uh, getting back to that low end situation, I did research and I don't remember which interview, but a rapper has said the low end goes, I think, from 22nd to 51st. You say it goes up to 59. So are they capping? I mean, shit, it really is. That's still the low end to me. Mm. 59, yeah. All right, representing 59. But, all right. Period. Um, how was life for you there? Um, a lot of bad shit, a lot of fighting, a lot of, yeah, we was bad. I mean, motherfuckers are looking around now, you know, certain shit uh -huh. I don't do, but. Motherfucker still get on at any point, any time, so you know. But I be chilling though. Mm hmm I be chilling. We was bad as fuck though when we was younger though, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, alright. Terrible. Terrible, huh? So I take it you don't have much good childhood memories then? I know I still got good childhood memories, like going to the center on 39th. Okay. Um, uh, the shout out Katie, that's where I know Katie from. Katie got bands? Uh huh. We All right, man. Sitting on 39th after school. That shit was lit. All right, all Dance right. teams, all type of shit. Like, that shit was lit for sure. Dance teams? You was Summer a part of camp and shit? No, I was never part of the dance team. But, ah. Um, a lot of the Wild West Chicago dance teams. Oh. All right. Well, but overall, so. Basically, just the the summer experience. You said summer camps as well. So the summer experience in the area was your favorite time. Uh huh. Um, yeah, for sure. Summer definitely was lit. Mm. But you did also say that y'all with we, if which, which implies you too, was bad, right? Yeah, we was bad. We it was just like a lot of fighting. Like my my like when I got started hanging where I'm from, we like met each other through shit like that, like fighting. Mm -hmm. That's what we like was really locked in on. Like everybody was just fighting and shit, different bitches, and you know, we developed a bond with each other. I mean, the guys from over there was pretty much doing music. Um, they was getting it busted too. Oh, 
Oh, for, real. for sure, they was getting it busting like real hey, hands. Hey, the world came out Real for that. hands, real hands and shit. So yeah. Thank you for that too. Yeah. So you would say you was one of the bad childs. Yeah. It do hit different when you were one of the bad childs, but it's okay because that don't because that don't define you now, right? No. <laughs> As it shouldn't. But um, you know, since honey, right? Mm -hmm. Now. There's a couple of people from over there, male and female, so it's like a very common place to be from. Uh -huh. And one of the rappers from over there by the name of Texas Hunter brought up in an interview that before it was quote unquote gang banging, it was school banging. And considering how you were saying it was be a lot of fights and you know, we was bad as hell and all that, was uh -huh. school banging something that you was a part of? I mean, I had like certain shit at school for sure, yeah. When I was in Hyde Park, like uh, Shit, I had my own, like, we had our own little clique up in there, but then shit, you know, the, all the outside street shit started leading to school shit, too, because some different motherfuckers go to school. So, yeah, for sure, like, that's how that shit was. Even with them, like, the, guy, the, the younger guys, they was young, you know, most of them was younger in different schools and shit, but all that shit be the same shit, like, oh. motherfuckers, different streets, blocks into it, motherfuckers at the same school, so, yeah. Clash. Okay. For sure. Well, well, overall, throughout your time and your childhood experience growing up from the low end slash 59th and King Drive, mm -hmm. you would say throughout all child tribulations, good or bad, that all that did was made you the woman that you are today, right? For sure. Of course. And be proud of yourself. Applaud yourself. Come on, you can applaud yourself on that. You don't want to applaud now. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Now uh Mm. On to the questions. What now, before we get on to the hardcore questions, mm -hmm. this is something that we just gotta address as far as you. So, of, hey, I'm glad. I'm glad you. I'm glad because that's exactly something close to what we're gonna talk about. <laughs> but we're not gonna make it exactly that. Okay. We're gonna get deeper into that. Okay. Now, with the Chicago wave, the way we wanna do interviews, we first off. We've been begged for two years by by followers to do interviews. We finally doing it. It's been three months, y'all. So mm -hmm. give us a break if we don't ask questions the way I want to. But anyways, um, we found a way. We we notice how when rappers do interviews, they always be smoking weed or drinking liquor because they be bored while just listening to a whole list of questions the whole time. Mm -hmm. But. We don't want you to be bored. We want you to be happy to be here. Like, I'm happy to see you. I think you're happy to see me. I am. All right. I'm, you're happy to see me. So let's, so, so let's have good energy with each other. Period. Which is why we got something called segments. And with these segments, it's basically a question that we will not only ask everyone, but these questions are meant to spark a conversation and deep thoughts. Mm. And for you, my talented and beautiful friend, that's exactly what we're going to do. A segment right now. Let's go. So... In this segment, I call it Pain Never Looked This Good. Sure the fuck didn't. Now, before I even ask the question, are you a fan of Anne Marie? Yeah, I fuck with her. I'm glad you do. Have you ever seen this? Do you do you have you ever heard or seen this song by her called Pain Never Looked This Good? I'm not sure how I go to sing it. I'm not a singer, but forgive me, y'all. <laughs> I'ma know Pain Never Looked This Good. Yep. Yeah. I think so. Alright, did you see the music video for that? Uh, I'm not sure. I fuck with her though. I know, like, I guess. I guess Alright, but overall, you, you paid attention to her. Yeah. Now, now, with this segment, I had to do some reflecting on myself as well when I came up with this question. Uh -huh. You know, I'm pretty sure everyone who's a fan of her or not, or, or someone who just know of her, Right. And, of, and of course, interviewers cannot deny that Emery is a beautiful woman. You she listen. is. She's really pretty. Exactly. She's a beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. We live in a male-dominant society where we think that just because women are beautiful, that their life is as what they would call peaches and cream. And I used to think that way with Emery until I saw Pain Never Looked This Good in this music video. She talked about her upbringing before she became a star. Right. As a child, her for what it seemed, her mother had a boyfriend, and her boyfriend used to be abusive. He was always yelling and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And with she, the mama, though, right? Yeah, with the mama. Mm -hmm. And 
oftentimes she would grab a knife to, you know, to help, help defend. Right. And and that help. And older over time she became a teenager. I guess her and her mom had an argument for what it seemed like in the video. She ended up kicking her out. She ended up being homeless. Right. Then it seemed like she went lived with her uncle, but her uncle wasn't much of a good uncle. He couldn't for what it seemed like he was getting ready to not keep his hands to himself with his oh. with his own niece, which is bogus. And it's like a lot that it's goes on. Good. Like I don't like and forgive me if I'm not quoting this right hand. But uh, it seemed like, but overall, to sum it all up, Anne Marie is a beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. But women, but we live in a male dominant society where we believe that men are the only ones who go through trauma and bullshit. No. But women go through that shit too. So it's just that we see them because of how beautiful they are. We wouldn't think that the whole time. If you got to know them, they would go through the same shit men go through. Yeah, for real. Sometimes, maybe even worse, just because they're a woman. Yeah. And I had to do a lot of deep thinking of myself. I used to look at a lot of women like that. But as someone who aspires to be better, do better, and think better, I wanted to change my ways. Mm -hmm. Which is why I look at women a, a lot different than how I would normally would in my younger days. Mm -hmm. So that's where, and that's where it all ties down to you. You would say you're a beautiful woman, right? Yeah. You better, but it's okay. <laughs> Come for on, sure. stand on it. You pretty, you pretty, right? For sure. Bad bitch for sure, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> but just because you're beautiful doesn't mean that everything, everything was in, exactly that. That so, shit and occurs. Which is why I want to ask you this. Is there anything traumatic that may have happened to you in the past that still haunts you to this day? Now, only answer this question if you feel comfortable answering it. I'm trying to think of a less traumatic event. Yeah, um, yeah. Are you comfortable talking about this at all? Because I don't want to cause you to have any flashbacks, trigger moments. I don't want to make you uncomfortable during this interview. No, I, I can't really just say that like, you know, shit. Like, um, being pretty is really a, a gift and a curse because like all attention is not good attention. Like, you know, some of the attention just be fucked up. Like, motherfuckers really be sick out here. And, um, like really motherfucking stalking bitches and just it just be all type of shit with the with people with music it be a lot of shit going on um, so you just gotta watch you know what I'm saying you just gotta be a strong man to female too because like anything that's in your control be a strong female about it but like like as far as like from being a kid shit was out of people's control you know what I'm saying but now if you could control the shit like you know just be a strong female and um don't let a motherfucker tell you anything run any type of game on you trick you into anything um yeah shit basically that's it because yeah I'd, I'd rather not get into like a real life trauma event and, and of course a little bit tmi but yeah. um i could really just say that though for the most part mm. And thank you for being comfortable letting me know that she ain't want to get too deep into that because I personally, sure. I don't want to ever make you uncomfortable. I no, ask some questions. So, okay. I, so just, just so you understand where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. But uh, have you ever been discriminated by society for wanting to do this, but because you're a woman, they want you to live by stereotypes? Um, I be getting a lot. Like sometimes people be like, you should do this or you should do it that way or like, um, I need to be um, doing a little more or some shit. Like, I don't be really drawing out that shit. Like, I'm going to come how the fuck I'm coming. And that's it. Like, um, what the fuck working for the next motherfucker is working for them. That don't mean it's going to work for me. And why the fuck would I want to try to be like the next person anyway? It's like, the motherfucker going to fuck with me. They going to fuck with me. If not, then that's cool too. Shit. Keep it a buck. For sure. But overall, like... You there's not there's nothing that they can say about you as a woman that you should do that you will let them to tell you and make you influence and think that this is what you have to do, right? Nah, can't nobody tell me shit like that. Of course. Unless it's like something good, I know that's gonna contribute to what I'm doing, like shit like that. But can't nobody, you know, peer pressure me into shit. I'm grown as hell, like no. Of course, you should never feel peer pressure anyway. In regards to this as a friend or not, it's your decision how you want to live your life, right? For sure. For sure. But, um, another thing, 
Do you feel like just because people see you smiling and happy that they wouldn't understand the struggles you go through as a woman? Because there's a lot of struggles that women go through. Yeah. Um, yeah. Women do go through a lot of shit. And they often smile about it too and just not yeah. talk about it at all. You wouldn't think so unless you asked them. Yeah, for real. Women, women are more like emotional and shit. But, yeah, like, um, that's why I be like fucking with everybody too. Like, not, you know, if it's good energy towards me, it's good energy towards you. It's reciprocated, you know what I'm saying? I don't ever really like be judgmental to the next motherfucker because I don't want them to be like that to me. Mm. For sure, for sure. Is there, was there ever a time where you were smiling and happy, at least to everyone else, but throughout that time where you played it all cool, and you was really like hurt? That? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, like I'll be like that. Like, probably like if I'm in a relationship and it's a bad breakup, you know how you go out, you know what I'm saying? You want to get some good vibes and shit, but you like shit eating you up, but you know, you're used to that person type shit. I've been like that where I, um, went out but I'm just like oh like balled up on the inside but I go out um because people don't know like they energy can do so much for you like I don't gotta know your ass from a can of paint we don't even gotta talk no words we could just be in a club dancing vibing but I'm getting your energy and you know if it feel like love I'm gonna be drawn to it and attracted to it the whole time I got this shit going on where I'm like mentally I'm in a whole nother place but the way you made me feel you know what I'm saying like, yeah, I fuck with shit like that. Because I've been done shit. Um, my man, people be having some raw ass vibes. And shout out to the bitches with the raw ass vibes. Like, because y'all never know what y'all doing for the next person. And that's why I try to be like that too. Like, I'm cool as hell. I'm like, I'm thorough. But like, if if you want some weird shit with me, weird time, bad energy, then that's how I got to get it back to you. You know? And for those who may be wondering when it comes down to weird energy, uh, and for some that can't, some people can't, some people can't actually tell what it is. So, for those who need help being able to pinpoint that, is there any advice or something you can point out for them to look out for? Um, bad energy that a person can't really sense or tell, um, cause some people really don't see that shit. Some people, like myself, go off energy. Some people just like hmm. ain't into it. But to, to sense it, like I would say like with friends, um, comments, jokes, that's, you feel me? Like a motherfucker steady trying to have a joke, but they being sarcastic. Like, you feel me? Trying to downplay shit or, you know, got something bad to say about you every time. Like, don't uplift you, shit like that. Like, that's with friends, but shit. Strangers, I mean, it's obvious with strangers shit, a bitch should be looking ugly or, you know, you feel me? It be the pretty bitches sometimes be looking, I mean, I can't say though. Sometimes I be looking like don't say shit to me. But when you, when a motherfucker get to know me, I'm cool to see them. Just mm. depends on how they came at me, you feel me? Like, like, yeah, that's how you sense that shit though. Like, shit, it be on motherfuckers. Some motherfuckers can't have it. You feel me? They whole mood change when you come through, so, you know, mm. there's that. But overall, as far as you, you may have, there's a lot of things as a woman that you go through, but at the end of the day, a lot of people can't see that unless they ask you. Mm -hmm. And overall, regardless of what that is, that doesn't make, that, what, what is meant to break you doesn't make you up. Because at the end of the day, yeah. you would say that, and we all can agree that you are beautiful, right? For sure. And with that being said, Miss Blue, pain never looked this good. Period. <laughs> mm -hmm. But just because pain never looked this good, Man. doesn't what, mean. You know, what a motherfucker <laughs> went through. Where they at? Like, what type of time in they on? So, like, exactly. you always got to give motherfuckers their respect. I'm heavy on that respect. Like, I'm heavy on it. Like, Shit, just fuck with me. Mm -hmm. That's all you gotta do. Any weird shit though, that shit did. I'm shutting that shit down, so don't even come my way with it. Which is why, for those who may be going off the good looking through the pain, we still got another segment for that, and that's called Looks Can Be Deceiving. Oh, yeah, for sure. Trust and believe, Looks Can Be Deceiving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm funny. 
But uh, because we live in a world like where women like yourself are indeed pretty, that people can just think that they assume they know who know them and know what they're like just because of the sole fact that they're beautiful. Yeah. And to break it down, some people think they can see a wo woman who looks beautiful as fuck, and just because she, she's pretty, you got an idea who she is already. Yeah. And you might have a nerve to try and tell her who she is. So, which is crazy for most 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 women. Mm -hmm. So, in regards to you, do you feel like that just because that you're beautiful, people can have an idea of who you are, yes or no? Yeah, for sure. Oh, is that so? Then with, since the answer is yes, what makes you feel like it's easy for people to know to know who you are without having prior knowledge of who you are? Um, I don't know. People be used to what some people just be used to what they used to. They be thinking like everybody the same. But I know people like some people look at me and think I'm either really mean or really bougie. Sometimes like it be like either or. I be getting that a lot. Not bougie, never been, but I hate bougie bitches. I'm sorry. Like, you know, I could fuck with you though if you a thorough bitch and you know that's your, you know, that's what you prefer. But like, um, like me being with you and you just like, you just too good for all this shit. Like, bitch, we be in the trenches for real. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, it, it, it get like that, but like, um, we ain't gonna be too cool. Like, we gonna fuck with each other, but you know what I'm saying? Not to that extent. Not to that extent, cause them type of it be too much with that type of shit. Well, overall, when people think they have an idea of who you are based off your based off your looks, mm -hmm. are they often accurate or inaccurate? Overly inaccurate. Overly inaccurate. Hell yeah. And since that's the case, mm -hmm. would you then say they don't know who you are just because they see how beautiful you are? Nah, they don't. Mm. Notice how you just gave me a yes and no answer. But it's okay because no, I'm saying like like no. people will see me and, and, and think I'm they'll think they know me and think I'm mean or like bougie or something. Oh, like just by type of actions you do, yeah. not just who you are as a person. Yeah, I'm saying just by looking at me and think I'm like I'm stuck up or I'm be mean as hell or some shit like that. When shit like all you gotta do is talk to me like I'm correct. Cool, relax, chill, like I'm fuck with you. Oh, okay. And a lot of people I met, they'll be like, damn, you was cool as hell. I, I, I would have never thought because I thought you was gonna be this way. But you only thought that because you seen me, you know what I'm saying? Like, you had your perception from my image and shit. And when you say image, you do this also refer to Instagram pictures and stuff like that too? But some people uh, think they Yeah, 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 yeah. Some people I be seeing, I be. They not see me online or some shit or yeah for sure. Or just see me and look like I'm, you know. It just be it be I'll be coming how motherfucker coming. Like I'm going, I'm coming how you coming. You give me respect, you get respect back. With that being said, does this statement also apply to you? What? That you may That I look at people like that? No, no, that you look at people and depending on how they look based off Instagram pictures or in real life, you can have an idea of who they are. And not about who they are, but what type of person it is. Um, nope, not really. Okay. Then with all that being- Cause, Cause I know super, like bitches that look, like have people look at me that look a certain way, but they down earth cool as hell. Or, okay. um, uh, or niggas too, you know what I'm saying? Niggas turn out to be thrill as hell, but he look like, you know, he be on some other time and like, yeah. Hmm. With all that being said, looks can be deceiving, right? For sure they can. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, would you like would you like to play a game? Come on. I'm glad you like to play a game. <laughs> now, would you rather do your research or your homework? Mm, research. Research, huh? 